Hey YouTube, this is my Eastern Box Turtle. I rescued her. She was um, in the middle of a highway. I was riding my bike. I saw her. I picked her up. Um, I'm releasing her this spring back into the wild. I live in the woods, so it should be a good home for her. I, uh, she was about... You can tell she's a female because of her eye color. You can see it's like brown. Males have the red eyes. But you can't always go by the eyes. Um, don't do this with your turtle, but I'm just going to do it for a second. You can see the palastron or the bottom shell is completely flat. Males have a more concave or curve in them. Another thing is their toes. She has very short toenails. A male will have very, very long toenails. Um, you see the tail there? If the tail has like a little ball at the top, or if it is um, really long, you can tell it's a male. That's my Bindi. I named her after Steve Irwin's daughter. Um, and his first alligator. Um, she's a really cool turtle. She she's a picky eater because obviously she's from the wild, and I should be like I said I'm releasing her this spring. I have no clue how old she is. Um, the whole counting the rings thing is a rumor. You don't do that because some years they don't even grow new ones. Um, I think right here, if you can see that, it's kind of blurry. Um, I think she might have fell at a young age because it's scarred and is starting to heal over. Um, one thing to keep in mind for any reptile is that if you flip them over, their heads go back. They are very uncomfortable being flipped over. If you watch what she does, she actually has her head stick all the way out and it can help her flip over. But you don't want to leave them like that too long because reptiles don't have all the same organs that humans do that can uh, make their lungs collapse and they won't be able to breathe. And that's why you see so many turtles get flipped over and they die because they can't breathe. Um, so that's my Bindi. Um, in her tank I have two rocks and I actually used, I went to the dollar store and I got a quesadilla bowl you know what they keep them to stay warm in and I just threw out the top and I use that as her water bowl because it's like perfect for her size. And she goes in it, drinks, sunbathes, I guess. Um, she's really cute, as you can tell. And I love her death. I'm going to be sad to see her go, but happy that she's going to be in the wild, you know? She's awesome. When I lift her up, you can see what she does with her head. Maybe she'll do it, but maybe not. She's on film. She won't agree with anything I ask her to do. But I'll show you what I have in her tank. Um, this bin is, I just got at Walmart for three bucks. And like I said, it's just temporary since I'm releasing her, so I don't want to spend a lot of money on a big big tank. That's the quesadilla bowl. Um there's the two rocks. And I got this um bedding, which is really easy for her to climb into. Every morning I wake up and she's burrowed herself in and like I had her over the winter and she completely hibernated and I left her inside and didn't mess her up at all. She was awesome. Great turtle. That's my Bindi.